Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Thanks for joining me. I've been saying for a while that I would do a little video to explain why I use base layers when I'm working on hot press watercolour paper. Um, base layers are um, quite an important part of my drawing process. Um, so here's a little video to explain why I use them and how I use them. So first of all, I should explain what a base layer is. Um, obviously any layer, so this is a, a dark sepia um, pencil from the Polychromos range. Any layer that I put down onto the paper, any first layer, is obviously by definition a base layer. But when I talk about base layers, I don't mean um, necessarily, it could be a darker layer, but for me, it usually isn't a darker layer. So for me, it's usually um, a lighter color. So we have, I've got a warm gray one here, I've got an ivory and I've got a cold gray one from the uh, Polychromos range. So when I'm talking about base layers, I'm talking specifically about um, a lighter color. Uh, that will go down on the, the paper first. So how do I choose my base layer colour? Well, I tend to look at the reference photo and look at the lightest colour that I can see in an area. Um, that's going to become my highlight colour and that's the colour that I will uh, use as a guide when choosing the base layer. Up here, on the collie, I will have used um, an ivory as the base layer, but coming down here, I've probably used the uh, the warm grey one and even some of the cold grey one in these areas because I can see that there's both um, sort of blues and uh, uh, brown tones. Um, again, on the cheek I, here, I can see that the highlighted area is the uh, so the creamy ivory colours. So I would have used this as um, the base layer um, in, in this particular area. So my base layer, my choice of base layer colours will change throughout the portrait just depending on where I'm working on the piece and what sort of colours the highlights are and what tones they've got, whether they are um, sort of warm tones, colder tones or the creamy tones. And that's just a, a selection of colours. You know, I, I could use other colours as well. Um, these are just three that I've picked up. They don't always have to necessarily be as light as this. I do tend to use um, the lighter colours, but you know, they could they could be darker than this. It's whatever whatever's going to work for you. So the first reason that I use a base layer is to map out or to plot the areas on the portrait. You can see here, as I'm working around the horse's eye, I use the, the lightest coloured pencil. It helps start to plot the direction of the fur and any important landmarks in the portrait. Um, using a light coloured pencil means that if I make a mistake, I can easily rub out the pencil and correct the direction of the fur. So that's one of the reasons that I use a light coloured pencil. The next reason that I use the base layer is that the, the base layer will uh, start to desaturate and slow down the, uh, the speed at which the darker colours, so this is the dark sepia, at which the darker colours go down the paper. So, uh, for instance, I've just put down some warm grey um, one here, in this little bit here. And if I take the dark sepia that I've just mentioned, and if I go over the top of the warm grey one, I'm not pressing on hard, but you can see that the colour is slightly lighter than the actual pencil colour. And if I carry on coming across and off the warm grey one, so I'm in an area now that doesn't have the base layer. Where I've used the base layer, the colour is um, not so intense, a little bit more desaturated. Um, I find that this is helpful not just because the colour's lighter, which means the colours get darker, slower on the portrait and therefore um, sort of more easy to control. But secondly, if I wanted to rub out the area with the, the, the monotombo over 
the base uh, the area with the base layer on it's going to rub out a lot better than the area that doesn't have the base layer on hopefully you can see that I can see that quite a lot from here this is pretty much gone here that is I'm pressing on quite hard and that is really struggling to come off and that's because the tooth of the hot press paper has gripped on to this first layer and it's all sort of stuck down into the tooth of the paper whereas on this this area up here with the base layer we've got the warm grey one that's stuck down into the tooth of the paper the the sepia has just sort of glided over the top of it and that means it's much easier to come off if we wanted to um, remove it and that's another reason that I like the base layer so that I can um, correct an area if I if I need to so I can go back and correct an area and secondly it helps me put the layers down so that I can start to um, blend the the colors together and this leads on to the next reason that I use a base layer um, adding the lighter colors underneath um, which start to fill in the tooth of the um, paper with the lighter colours means that my paper gets to the buttery stage um, a lot faster without getting uh, too dark too quickly. And once I get to the buttery stage my pencils start to glide over the paper and I can blend colours together, it's easier to push the pigment around, get a smooth blend um, and I can't see my pencils lines. I do need layers to be able to blend the colours together but I don't always want those layers to be dark and that's where the light base layers help. And finally the base layer is important if I want to be able to subtract pigment from a drawing using a craft knife or a the slice tool, the manual pen cutter. So if I just put some base layer down here again on this side and I use the dark sepia again on, the, oh, let me go over the, the base layer and then this side without the base layer. So you can see the difference in the pigment colours again. But also when I come to use the uh, manual pen cutter you can see that it comes off the side with the base layer quite nicely but the side that doesn't have a base it's not doing anything or hardly anything um, at all and that's because the manual pen cutter only takes your pigment back to or only takes your pencil back to the first layer if I haven't got a good coverage of the base layer down, um, we, we won't see much effect when I use the, the slice tool. So if I want a particular colour on a highlight, um, that's the colour that I will use as the base layer. I'll look at my reference photograph at the beginning, look at the, the, the highlight colour and use that as the base layer. When I use the craft knife or the slice tool, I need to make sure that I do have a good coverage of the base layer so that the, the, the slice tool or the craft knife will work. If I haven't got a good coverage of the base layer down, um, we, we won't see much effect when I use the, the slice tool. So hopefully that explains why I find uh, base layers important when I'm drawing. When, I, um, when I'm working I always take my base layer out further than the area that I'm working on so I know that I'm okay to blend and I don't need to sort of stop my pencils with a harsh line, I can just carry on blending because I've got enough base layer down in the surrounding areas. And if I do rub out an area because I've made a mistake, I will make sure that I will go back up the base layers um, again because the, the pencils will look different where there's no base layer down. So that's why I use base layers. And I've got this little Jack Russell uh, dog. It's an 11 part tutorial. Um, I'll leave a link to the video. It's in real time uh, with an explanation throughout. Um, it's aimed at those people that are fairly new to um, colored pencils. And I explain techniques 
um, as I go along, including the uh, the base layer. So I will, as I say, leave a link uh, to that. Uh, but that's basically the reason that I the reasons that I use base layers. Um, I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, please do think about subscribing and pressing the uh, bell button so that you can be notified of other videos. Um, and all that's left to say is thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.